Hello and welcome to the second part of this little trip down the coast from Aberdeenshire towards our broth. At the end of the first part we had just left Johnshaven and were continuing the journey south. Join us now as we leave Aberdeenshire and cross into Angus. Okay, now we've arrived in Montrose. Um, again, it's a place that we're not going to do much here. Um, no cups of coffee or anything like that. So just going to walk to the end of the road and back, have a look at the place, see what it looks like. Um, I see there's a statue. I see there's quite an interesting looking main road. Um, so Montrose, let's go for a walk. Yeah, it's definitely worth coming to see more of Montrose. Um, it's one of these places, I mean, maybe it looks like it's seen better days, but there's definitely enough there to kind of pique the interest. No, it's quite, you know, the nice old buildings, kind of, some statues. Obviously, there was a lot of money here once. I don't know if there is now, but um, no, no, Montrose is somewhere to come back to to see. We'll be looking for a video just about Montrose one of these days. There's a little park, or I don't know what this is, but it's got a great view of the harbour. Bamsa, or Bamsa.
<coughs> chip seat. With us barely having scratched the surface of Montrose, it was time to press on to our final destination of this trip, our broth. Final stop our broth. Um, funny, this is the place we used to come when we were kids, really young kids. Um, so I mean, for me, what I remember are fun fairs and shows and <laughs> puggy arcades and stuff like that. Um, but no, apparently there's a big, there's a big abbey. There's nice churches, a park, quite a nice centre. It looks like to walk about. It's not all holiday stuff. So let's go for a walk and see what it's like. Even just to begin with, we're right on Abbey Park. There's a big church there. Well, let's go walk around here. We're all just sauntering under a 12th century abbey, as you do. I think it's closed to the public just now, so we can't go in. We realised that we were going to go home really late, so we decided to have dessert in an Italian restaurant to keep us going. Any of the things you have to do. There's the seat. The broth is like a proper city. It's got a centre, it's got things around the periphery, suburbs, and we're just going down to the seafront just now.
looks like there's some kind of slipway or dry dock or something like that over there. Um, not sure how that works, it looks like the boat gets maybe put onto the cradle and then the cradle gets dragged up here. Something like that. It's pretty cool actually. I'm guessing this bridge gets opened when that happens. It really was starting to get a bit late, so it was time for us to call it a day and start heading back to Glasgow. It was just one place we had to go to first. Yeah, well, no trip to our Brosswood could be complete without a visit to Pleasure Land and all the buggies and all that stuff. Um, sadly, the wee miniature railway that was here is closed now and didn't close that long ago, but it's closed now. Um, but let's see what Pleasure Land's like, if there's still anything left of it. I often wonder that these places are, that I used to go when I was we are all gone now. It certainly doesn't seem like what it used to. Maybe it's just not how I remember it. Oh, this is all looking quite... Oh, it's still open. Yep. All the puggies were still there, or puggies when I say puggies, I mean slot machines of course. Um, I couldn't go really go in and start recording people playing the machines, it would look a bit weird. Um, so yep, um, but they're all still there at least, so at least that's one part of it that's not changed. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is me signing off now, we've come to the, the, the west end of Abroth. Um, so yep, all the best, cheers, bye. If you enjoy watching our videos then please hit the like button and subscribe for more content.